Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to NXT episode 37. We are, this is the final NXT before NXT No Way Out. And boy, is this going to be a good one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, Nathan Hudson. And introducing his opponent from Connecticut, Charles Jackson. And the match gets underway. Charles already out with a good with a good shoulder tackle. Charles with the headlock. We have not seen Charles Jackson in a while since he fought Steph Cole at NXT Game Over. Charles back looking to make a statement. He's already attacking Nathan Hudson. Hudson on the ropes here, but Hudson reverses. Here comes Hudson. He tried to come back. He got a punch in, but Charles shuts him down. And a back body drop by Charles Jackson. Oh, what a move there by Nathan. Oh, collar elbow tie up. Collar elbow tie up. Who's going to come out? Oh, there was a tie. Nobody came out with the advantage that time. Nathan. Look at Nathan with a scoop slam. Hudson with a scoop slam on Charles Jackson. This is just the first match of the evening. We have a big main event tonight. The main event is going to be a six-man elimination match between all six competitors in the in the elimination chamber. Oh, look at the punches! Look at the punches! Oh, Charles Jackson! I thought he was going to do something. He got a counter, counter by Nathan Hudson into a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Nathan hits him in the back. Hudson much, much smaller than Charles Jackson, but he ain't gonna let that go with another scoop slam. And a jumping knee to the face of Charles. Hudson desperately looking for a good debut after it happened against Collard. Hudson lost to Joshua Collard last week in his debut match, but he put up one hell of a fight. Nathan looking to get into the win column as he's going to Irish whip Charles into the corner. Ooh, shoulder tackles into the corner. Into Charles. Now look at look at him. Look at him using the leg to choke him. He's choking him. Referee in the way. If he'd move the fuck out of the way, he'd be, be able to seal that. But oh, look at Nathan. Nathan! Oh, look at the suit. The, oh, crap. That was a press slam. I think that's what it's called. A press slam. Oh, and Charles is up. He's not happy about that. Charles... Oh, he went to do something, but Nathan reversed him. And a jawbreaker. Jawbreaker by Hudson. And he's going to Irish whip him to the outside of the ring. He's going to throw him outside. He kicks him to the outside. Hudson's going to follow now. Winfrey's beginning his count. What's he going to do? What's Hudson going to do on the outside? I don't know. He's going somewhere with him. Oh, he is not going to do what I think he's going to do. He is not going to do what I think he's going to do. No way. He is. He, Nathan, no. Nathan Hudson, he's got Charles reeling. And a spear through the barricade. A spear through the barricade. Oh, my God. Referee's up to a six count. Seven. Charles could get counted out. Eight. No, Charles is up. Referee, referee was up to a nine, and Charles made it back into the match. Oh, what a move by Nathan trying to put away Charles. 
Charles has got to pretty much be done after going through there. But look at Charles! Has to be a second win by Charles. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, what a move! That was like a famouser. Nathan pulls Charles away. This has got to be it. Charles. One, two, three. It's over. Nathan Hudson picks up his first victory in NXT. Here is your winner, Nathan Hudson. Hudson gets the victory here at NXT. Nathan Hudson with the victory, the first victory of the night. What's going to happen in this main event style NXT? Welcome back to NXT episode 37. Up next, it's a tag team championship match between the NWO and Rick Norman and Nick Pilardo. But it's not just any match. It's an elimination style tag match. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall and it is for the NXT Tag Team Championships. Introducing first, Dylan Young and Tim Beagle. Sorry, really bad copyright, gotta avoid. their opponents, the team of Rick Norman and Nick Bellardo. NXT Tag Team Championships on the line, as you can see. And the bell rings. It's Dylan Young and Rick Norman starting things off. Rick Norman with an uppercut. These two have had a lot of history. It wasn't but a, I think it was a week or two ago that uh it was no it was two weeks two weeks ago that that the NWO took the the NXT tag team titles away from Rick and Nick Rick and Nick. They, they want revenge. This is their rematch a week before, oh, pretty much a week before the uh, the uh, NXT No Way Out paper or live event. They're getting their rematch. I don't know where Nick Bellardo's going, but Dylan Young is getting the upper hand here on Rick. Oh, Rick Irish whips Dylan into the corner. Oh, Rick is setting... Dylan Young up on the top rope. He's getting up there too. Punches him in the face. He's going for a superplex. He's going for a superplex. Superplex! Irish whips him into the corner. He's going to lift up and toss him down on his face. Rick Norman fighting back with everything. Oops. Oh, a standing moonsault by Rick Norman. And Rick's going to tag in Nick. And Dylan's going to run. Run and tag in Tim Fiegel. Oh, spinning heel kick. Now remember, this is elimination match. So pretty much once one person gets eliminated, it's going to be almost pretty much be over. Nick Bellardo starting to get the upper hand on Tim. Good atomic drop. Oh, another atomic drop. Oh, what a good move there by Tim. Oh! Tim just punched him in the face hard. Oh, and what a move there. Rick Norman trying to help, trying to help. 
Now he tags in Rick Norman. Rick comes back in and he goes right for the legs. He goes right for the legs. Now Tim Figo with a swinging neck breaker on Rick Norman. Ah. Oh, what a kick. Tim Figo kicked him right in the back of the head. Tim Figo's worth working on Rick's arm right there. Uh oh, oh Tim, Tim Figo's kicking, kicking him, kicking him, and oh, a kick to the back of the head. And Tim Figo knocks Nick Bellardo off. He knocks him off. Now he's going after Nick. Now he's coming back into the ring. Oh, Rick's up. Rick's up. Oh, he's going for the label lock. The label lock. He's got it locked in. Nick's inadvertently helping him get to the rope. Now the Rick Norman. Look at Rick. Look at Rick. He's trying to get him. He went for the kick, but Tim reversed it into another swinging neck breaker. Kick out at two by Rick. This is intense. Oh wow, what a kick to the back of the head. And look at the cheap shot there by by Nick Bellardo. Four, five, six, seven, eight, not Oh he refers to that he refers to that nine. They both make a tag. Nick Bellardo and Dylan Young now into the ring. Nick Bellardo didn't even move until just now got him with a knee to the face. What a move there. Nick Pilardo starting to come back. He's starting to fight it back. Oh, wait a minute, but Dylan Young reversed whatever it was he was about to do. He reversed whatever it was he was about to do. Collar elbow tie up. Rick Norman is just right there. Now Nick Ballardo, Irish whips Dylan Young into the corner. Punches him in the face. Oh, what a side effect. Side effect by Nick Ballardo. Rick Norman uh, gets rid of that, but look at Dylan Young already up. Dylan Young up already. Uh-oh. Superplex! Oh, he went for, it looks like a pedigree, but Dylan Young reversed it. He went for a pedigree, but Young reversed it. Young tags in Fiegel. And a running knee to the face! Running knee to the face! One, two, three. He's a no two, two. That was only a two count. What? Wow, here a run I need to the face and it was only a two count. I don't know if Rick broke it up in time or not. It looks another side effect. Well, that failed. He failed. Rick, Rick failed to take out Dylan Young. Tim Fiegel starting to fight back now. Oh, here it comes. Tim Fiegel. Look at Tim Fiegel. Tim Fiegel. With a running knee. Uh-oh. Tim's got him down. Tim with kicks. He's kicking him. Look at the kicks. Oh, what a kick to the back of the head. 
Roll for the pin. One, two, and Rick Norman breaks it up. Ooh, and he got a cheap shot in. Twist of fate! Twist of fate! Twist of fate! Go for the pin. One, two, three. That's it. Tim Fiegel's been eliminated. It's two on one. Dylan Young. What is going on? What's going to happen? Dylan Young has no help now. None. It's pretty much a handicap match now. And look at the swinging neck breaker. Oh, uh oh. I think Dylan Young's been busted open. Dylan Young, I think, has been busted open. Young going for a pin. One, two, kick out at two by Dylan Young. He stays in the match. He is fighting for the titles. What Dylan Young needs to pray for is that the referee begins a, a, cast, a, a count fast enough that Nick Blardo won't have enough time to break it up. Going for a pedigree. The pedigree! The pedigree! Yep, yeah, he's got to hope that he's going to be it. One, two, Three! It's one-on-one! -on -one. Dylan Young ties it up! One-on-one -on -one for the for the NXT Tag Team Championships! This is it! Who oh, is going to walk away with the titles? Oh, Nick Barr moves out of the way! Oh, and Nick Bellardo hits his over-the-top move! Goes for the pin immediately! One! Two! Three! No! Two! Oh, this is intense, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's going for a submission. He's got a submission on, on Dylan Young. Is he going to tap? Dylan Young for the titles. Is he going to tap? No. Dylan Young gets out of it. The resiliency of Dylan Young. Crowd chanting for Nick Bellardo to bring it home. Oops. goes for another submission. Another submission. He's on the ropes. <laughs> another submission. But he gets out of it. Look at Nick Bellardo. Nick. He's up. Got him up. Oh, what a Samoan drop. One. Cool. Oh. Damn it. I got that too. Nick Bellardo going for yet another submission. Is he going to tap? He's trying to get him to tap out. Is Dylan Young going to tap? No. The crowd is chanting for Nick Bellardo. Oh, what a move by Nick. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. This is so intense, ladies and gentlemen. Go for the pin again. One, two, three. No, two. Dylan Young is busted open, but he is still staying in this match. Nick Bellardo is giving it everything he has. Going for another submission. Camel Clutch. Is he going to tap out this time? Yes. Yes, Dylan Young taps out. It's over. New Tag Team Champions. Welcome back to NXT of Next. It's Sami Zayn versus Finn Balor. This is definitely going to be a good one.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it is in first from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Sammy Zane. Yeah, that's right. I know Sammy Zane's music. Don't judge me. Damn, I wish I could get my Xbox 3 to read blank CDs again. I'd like to update this theme song. And introducing his opponent from Ireland, Finn Fowler. I don't think I could get a copyright strike off that Finn Fowler because it is a cover. It is a cover. Uh, cover music. So. Anyways, that match is underway. Finn Balor, Sami Zayn equally matched at 88 overall each. So this would definitely be a good match. Sami Zayn already with double kicks to the face of Balor. Oh, and I got that. I forgot what the hell that was called. Arm drag. That was an arm drag. Sami Zayn kick to the gut already. And a jumping kick to the side of the head. Already going for the pin on Balor, who kicks out before the ref could even count to one. Color elbow type was going to come out with the advantage. Finn Balor. Balor comes out with the advantage. And oh, a side slam. Balor coming back with the, with the kicks. And the jumping, kicking him, taking out the leg of Sami Zayn. Remember, if you take out the leg of Sami Zayn, you take away most of his power and his agility. Oh, wow. I don't even think he fully connected with that clothesline, but he connected with some of it. Oh, Balor catches the legs already and goes for a leg drag. Like I said, Balor working on Sami Zayn's legs. Oh, what a move. Balor working on Sami Zayn. Sammy Zane fighting back already. Oh, and a drop toe hold by Finn Balor. Drop toe hold by Balor. But it's Sami Zayn fighting back. Look at that arm, the arm drag. And now Sami Zayn with a standing moonsault. Oh, look at Sami Zayn. Whoa, tilt a world arm drag. Wow. The athleticity of the athlet, whatever you call it, I don't care, of Sami Zayn is incredible. The athleticism, that's what I meant to say. Athleticism. Wow, where is my brain today? Oh, Sami's got him in a corner. He's got a. He's pitching him up. Pitch him up. Tree of Woe. <coughs> oh, here's him. Balor reverses. Gets out of the Tree of Woe. Oh! What a kick. Oh, Zane reverses him. Sami Zayn reverses him and kicks him off the apron. This is not a no DQ match. These guys have got to get back into the ring. Referee was up to three count. Balor misses his kick. Irish.
Irish whips him instead over the top rope. Oh, what a move there by Balor. Now Balor with a submission move on Sami Zayn. Sammy, will Sammy tap out? Will Sammy tap out of this submission? No, he gets out of it. <coughs> Sammy Zayn gets out of it quickly gets him gets him in the headlock. <coughs> oh, what's Sammy gonna do here? Oh look at Sammy Zayn, look at this, look! Oh what a move by Sammy Zayn! That was an impressive move by Sami Zayn. Now Sami got to fly, but Finn Balor moves. Balor moves out of the way. Zayn explodes out of the end and hits him with the clothesline. Oh, Sami Zayn. Holy moly, look at this athleticism. Zayn not giving up. Oh, what's he gonna do here? Oh my gosh! The neckbreaker! It looked like a reverse RKO, but it was a neckbreaker. Oh, and hey, Sammy hits him with the splash this time. Is that enough to put Finn Balor away? Going for the pin. One! Kick out at one by Balor. <coughs> Irish whips him into the corner, but Balor reverses. Oh, look at Balor. Oh, what a move by Balor. What a move by Balor. Is that it? That, is that it? One, two, three. It's over. Balor wins out of nowhere. Here is your winner. Finn Balor wins the match. What's going to happen next on NXT as it continues? Welcome back to NXT. Up next, it's Joshua Collard versus Steven Roberts. gets underway here in the NXT arena. Roberts Collard. One on one. Collard gets the upper hand in that and that collar elbow tie up and hits him with that back body drop. Look at Roberts. Move there by Steven Roberts. Holy crap! That was a good move there by Steven Roberts. Oh boy! Oh, what a move by Collard! Exploding out of the corner with that with that uh, clothesline. Oh, what a move. 
move. Roberts has him out on the outside. What's he going to do? Drop kicks him off the apron right onto the floor. <laughs> Look at him out here fighting. Exchanging blows on the outside. Roberts got him on the outside. Back in the ring are these two. Oh, what's Kyler doing? Kyler's going to run the shoulder first into the ring post. Kyler, now look at Kyler. Kyler just choking him with his knee. Oh, and Roberts reversed. Roberts, I believe, is coming off a win last week. Oh, and what a belly to belly suplex that was. And a jumping moonsault. He's got him. He reversed. How the reverse into a suplex of his own. Oh, I thought he was going for something, but Collard reversed it immediately. Oh, wait a minute. Look at him now. Roberts. Roberts has got him up. Hello. Oh, what up? I think that was a, I don't know if that was a brain buster or if that was just a suplex. Oh, he's calling for it. Roberts is calling for it. Roberts is calling. Oh, cold blue. He calls that the code blue. Is that enough to put Collard away? Going for the pinfall. One, two, three. No, kicked out at two. I thought it was three. Referee's hand was down, but he just kicked out. Referee's calling that it was two count. Collard upset. Punch him in the face. Oh, Collard is not happy right now. Oh, and a side Russian leg sweep by Joshua Collard. Oh, well, Collard is just, he is, he is not happy. Winds of change. Winds of change on Roberts. That's got to be it. It's got to be over. Goes for the pin. One, two, kick out at two. Oh, he's got him up. He's got him up. Wasteland. Goes for the pin immediately. One, two, three. No, kick out at two. Once again, I thought, saw the referee's hands go down for a three count. I thought it was over. But I was wrong. Referee says it was a it was a two count. <clears throat> Roberts working on Collard's leg. Reverses Collard. Hand drop kicks him to the mat. Uh oh, he's rolling him over. What's he gonna do here? Oh, he's got him. Oh, he's got a submission. He's got a submission. The submission on Collard. Collard's on the submission. Is he gonna tap? Referee in good position. No, he does not tap. Oh, going for the legs. Oh, and Collard with the rule with a good combination of punches. Collard Irish whips him into the corner. Oh, and he reverses into the corner. He reverses. Oh, what a kick! Go behind and a drop kick to the back. Oh my gosh, look at that move by Steven Roberts. Look at the impressiveness of Steven Roberts. And Collard is not happy at all. As he held him with a reverse heel kick. Going for the pin. One. Kick out at one by Collard. Oh, he's going to go for another pin. Here he goes again. One. Two. Kick out at two by Collard. And another heel kick. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Collar hit him with the elbow! Two! Three! No! He kicked out at two! Collar hit Steven with the elbow when he jumped off the top rope! He hit him with the elbow! But he still kicked out! But Collar just, just kicked him hard in the face! Is that it? Is that enough? One! Two! 
three. It's over. Collar picks up the victory. Welcome back to NXT. Up next, it's Danny Wells versus Dylan Pote. Now, here's a name we have not heard in a while. Go and hate me, hate me, hate go, go and hate me, hate me. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Danny Wells. <laughs> and introducing his opponent from Kentucky, Dylan Poteet. And the match gets on the way of Poti immediately gets dropped by a super kick by Danny Wells. Dylan Poti trying to fight back against Wells. We have not seen Danny Wells in a long time on NXT. He has taken uh, almost, I would say, at least five months off because of injury. Danny Wells returns here tonight to the NXT arena and he gets to face Dylan Poti. Wow, Poti with tremendous punches on Wells. <clears throat> Look at him, Poti. Go over with Danny, re Danny reverses into a Famouser. He reverses into a Famouser. Oh, he's got a collar elbow type who's going to come up with the advantage. Oh, wow, Danny Wells gets the advantage on this one. Oh, and a Fisherman suplex. And then, uh, oh, belly to back suplex. Drop kick there by Danny Wells. Danny's the underdog coming into this fight. He's a little bit, sh I think, oh, no, I don't really think so. They're about the same height, I think. <laughs> uh, excuse me. They're about the same height, but I think Poti is just a little bit stronger of an, uh, overall than, than, uh, I think Dylan's overall is like a 92 to Danny Wells is 90. So, we'll have to see if Danny can pull out pull out a victory in this match because he is technically the underdog going into this match. Look at these Irish whips and oh what a splash into the corner. Wells trying to fight back. He is trying everything he can. He well not fight back. He's he's oh wow he's dominating this match. So that was a good move by Wells. Punch in the face of Danny or excuse me a Poti. Drop kick with authority by Dylan Poti. Irish whip into the corner. Atomic drop by Poti to Dil to Danny Wells. Wow, Danny Wells. Uh, elbow. Oh wow, elbow and punches. And this moment has no idea what's going on with the oh. By da uh, Dylan Poti, Danny Wells he reverses Poti and he super kicks him in the face. Oh, Dil uh, Danny thinks that's it. Oh, he's calling for something here. He's calling for something. Oh, he's got him in the sleeper. The sleeper hold. The sleeper hold. He's got him in the sleeper. Is he gonna tap? Is Poti gonna tap or fall asleep to the sleeper hold? Oh, he has got it locked in. 
Going for the pin immediately. Kick out at one by Poteet. Poteet ca caught the leg and said, I don't think so. Now here comes Danny fighting back. Oh, with another Famouser. Oh, look at him punching him in the face. Oh, he's got him up and knees to the gut by Danny. Knees to the gut. Is that enough? Oh, he's going to go. He's going for the submission. Going for the submission. The crowd chanting for Poti. Poti gets to the ropes and the rope break. Oh, Poti catches it. Oh, Insiguri kick to the back of the head. And then super kicks Poti. That's like the third super kick of this match. How is Poti coming back from all of these super kicks? Well, and Poti just reversed Danny. I think I think Danny might have had a finisher, but and uh, went to use it. But Dylan reverses it. Going for the pin is Danny. Rope break immediately. Collar elbow tie. Who's gonna get the advantage this time? Danny gets the advantage on the on the collar elbow tie up. Now he's got him in a submission. Knee right to the back, holding his head. Is Poti gonna tap out? Poti taps out. Dylan Poti tapped out to the pain. Danny Wells gets the victory. His first victory in a long time. Go and hate me. Hate me. Hate go, go and hate me. Here is your winner, Danny Wells. Danny gets the victory here on NXT. He gets the victory. <laughs> Excuse me. What's going to happen next in the NXT arena? Welcome back, Danny. Congratulations on the victory. Welcome back to NXT. Up next is a Divas match. Luna versus Alexa Bliss. The following Divas contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, she is the current NXT Women's Champion, Luna. And introducing her opponent, Alexa Bliss. And the bell sounds and Luna comes out comes right out of the gate with a with a belly to belly suplex to Alexa Bliss. Okay. Luna not happy over the after her la after her two straight weeks of losses to Paige. Two straight weeks of losses to Paige. Luna looking to get back into the win column as she says she needs it. She needs to get back into the win column. Alexa Bliss, though, trying to fight back. And oh, what a clothesline by Luna. Luna. Trying to fight back. She's fighting back. Back, the elbow to the back of uh, Alexa's head. And here comes Alexa Bliss. Oh, what a running kick to the head by Alexa. And oh, what a move by Alexa. Back body drop. Oh, and running, knee, running kick to the side of the head. This is not good for Luna. Luna needs to fight back. 
I don't know what has happened to the confidence of Luna as of late, but she needs to get it back if she wants to get back into the win column. And she just freaking tr almost took the head off of Alexa with that clothesline earlier. Oh, look at her now. Look at her now. Package. She's... Oh, my God! She just practically tossed Alexa Bliss. Just almost clear across the ring. I think I think she's starting to get her confidence back because she just did a hard clothesline. Oh, and then Alexa out of nowhere with a running bulldog. Luna with punches out the Razu. Oh, Luna's got her up. Oh, and it plants her down onto the mat. Go over there for the pin. One. Two, three, it's over. Luna picks up the victory. Well, he just, she just came in and planted her down. Here is your winner, Luna. Uh oh, it looks like Alexa Bliss isn't happy that she just lost to Luna. I don't know why that's the first time I've ever seen Luna extend the handshake after the match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, up next, it's the main event, six-man elimination battle royal. Who is going to come out with the victor? All right, welcome back to NXT episode 37. I had a bit of a glitch that I had to uh, cut out. That's why we started this match a little bit ahead of, you know, minus all the entrances. So this might be a short match. At least for at least in time wise because there was no entrances. This is a six man elimination style battle royal. The winner of this match will get bragging rights into the elimination chamber match. That's cut scheduled later this that's scheduled next week. I have no clue how the hell Charlie was able to get outside the ring there. But he's pretty much down. And now we have a glitch again. Alrighty then. Alright, one attempt to fix it. I don't know why this keeps happening. Alright, there we go. Okay. Oh, well, Hidalgo's gonna do this thing again. This is what we're gonna see if we're gonna have to restart it again. Don't run at the ring, please. Kevin Owens, don't run at the ring. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Okay, hopefully people won't hopefully people won't get caught out of the ring, and then they'll just keep fighting inside the ring and have eliminations. Because if that keeps happening, I swear to God, I'm gonna throw something. Okay, so like I said before, it, the only way to win this match is to be the last person in the battle royal. But to do that, you have to pin or submit your opponents until they're all eliminated. There is no over the top rope in this match. To Sora in here, going for the pin on Kevin Owens. And eliminates Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is eliminated. Kevin Owens is the first eliminated in this match. Wow, look at. I think uh, Adrian Neville just like freaking over freaking kicked to Sora. Oh, look at Kevin Owens. Or Kevin Owens. Look at Charlie Buxton. Charlie Buxton. It's down to five competitors now. Tilt the world head scissors there by Adrian Neville. I know you all saw that. Uh-oh. Tesaurus got... Got Buxton. He's got Buxton up. Oh, but someone saved him. Someone saved him from what Tassar was about to do. I don't know who it was that saved him. And uh, look at that move by Charlie Buxton. Oh, another and a super kick to Preston Plored. Running knee to the face to Preston. 
Hideo hits him with a running knee. Goes for the pin. One, two. Kick out of two by Preston. Who is going to be the next NXT champion? Go Adrian Neville goes for the pin. Two. Kick out at two. Who's going to get the upper hand out of Tesora and Buxton? Tesora gets the upper hand. Irish whips him into the ropes. Oh, and Neville with the Hurricane Rana. Standing moonsault. Tesora goes for the pin on, on him. We kick out at one. Oh, what's Neville doing? Neville. And a reversal by Buxton into a strong DDT. Strong DDT. Oh, look at, look at Tesoro in the corner. Got him up top. And oh, a back body drop from the top rope. Oh, and look at both the sit-down power bomb. And look at Tesoro. Tesoro's got him in the corner. Tesoro's got pressed it up. Into the jumping tombstone. One, two. Kick out at one, two. Kick out at two. They both kicked out at two. Oh, Neville's got him pinned. Two. Kick out at two by Buxton. Oh, this is so much competition, I can't even keep up. Oh, Preston Plord's calling for something. Plord was calling for something, but Neville kind of screwed him out of whatever it was he was going to do. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a move by Hideo. Preston picks up Buxton. Belly to belly throw. Jesus Christ. Preston definitely wants to win the NXT Championship, or it would be his first singles championship going for the pin two kick out at two two three and Adrian Neville has been eliminated down to four final four Hideo Preston Tesora and Buxton as Tesora just kicked him in the head goes for the pin immediately referee not in position two kick out at two by Preston Wait a minute. Look, Charlie Buxton stealing Tesoro's finishing move. Tes Charlie Buxton just stole his finishing move. And, it, and Preston's been eliminated. Charlie Buxton is still there. One. Kick out at one by Tesoro because the referee was taken forever. Uh oh, they're double teaming Tesoro now. Double teaming Tesoro. They're double teaming Tesoro. And another double team move. Oh my gosh, and that just took out, that has to be it. They just took out Tesora. I can't believe it that these two are working together. These two are working together. Well, not anymore. And oh, what a German suplex by Charlie Buxton. Oh, look at this. Look at Hideo going for submission on Tesora. Submission on Tesora. Is Tesora going to tap? He's not tapping. Oh, look, the pain's got to be in, though. Oh, look at this. they double-teaming again to Sora. Now, Hideo goes for the pin. Two, three, we're down to two. Charlie Buxton and Hideo Itami. We're down to two. Who's going to have bragging rights? Will it be the champion or one of the challengers? Oh my gosh, look at the ease he's picking him up by. And Charlie Buxton just delivers three German suplexes to Hideo. Goes for the pin. One, two, kick out at two by, by Hideo Itami. Oh, Hideo went for a super kick, but Charlie moved out of the way and hit him with a good move. Two, three, oh, two. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He's got him up. He's got him up. What's he gonna do? Oh, the GTS! He just stole. He stole his finisher. One, two, three. An insult to injury. Charlie Buxton beats Hideo with his own move. And wait a minute. What's he doing? I don't know where Kevin Owens came from. Charlie Buxton with the chair. He's a chair. He's attacking. He's attacking. 